Hi, this is Carl, and welcome back to my YouTube channel in the Knife Series playlist. We're going to be going over this knife that was on sale at, at Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's or whatever name they're going to go by this month. So, we have this thing. It was on sale for $9.99, and it came in different colors. Now, I almost bought the orange colored one, orange, real bright orange, until I saw the green. Green being my favorite color, I had to grab this one instead. I've already opened it, took off the protective tip, thrown that away. Let's go over this packaging real quick. Here's the Cabela's. It has titanium coated 420. Overall length, 6 inches. Closed length, 3.5 inches. Weight, 2.9 ounces. Folding knife right here. Here's the information on the back. If you want to pause this and check it out. Here is the barcode. Let's see here. Uh, Bass Pro Shop, Springfield, Missouri. Made in China. There we go. Made in China right here. Okay, let's put this aside and here we go. Here we have the knife here. I love this green color. I have a buck knife with almost the same color green, but also has a black on it, but pretty cool. I love the shape of this thing. Perfect size for me to carry in my pocket with other things. It has a belt clip, oh, not belt clip, pocket clip on the side right here. Gimping right here. I call them grippers, but I believe the real name is gimping. You'll see the barrels right here in the center. It's got the four holes in it, different sizes. Kind of a cool look. Can take this apart for maintenance. Thumb studs on each side of the blade. It is a hollow grind. There's the profile of the blade right there. Pretty cool. I'm enjoying this one. I haven't carried it yet. And I just opened it right before we started the video. It is a little tough to push the liner lock to the side and open it, but I'm sure that will be easier with age and usage. A little tough getting it out at the beginning. But, we'll see how it goes over a few weeks. I believe I'm going to carry this for a while. Then give another review on this and tell you how I liked it. Has the Cabela's name right there, and on this side, no markings. Hmm. Pretty lightweight. Really comfortable. So, pretty quick review on this one. Let me go and get a piece of paper and see how this thing cuts. There we go. Just rub a piece of copy your paper straight out of blister pack it does cut I'm not real impressed with it right now though but doesn't want to grab it and cut it it is cutting but not as good as I'd like it to be but for a $10 knife I can Get my wicked edge sharpener and put the edge on it. Let's see how the blade lockup is. Here we go. Come back here. You'll see the liner lock right here. Let's see. There we go. Get that in. Let's see if how that pops over. There we go. Do that again from a different angle. Maybe from over here. So, uh, let's try that one. 
There we go. Check the centering of the blade on this one. It does look pretty good. So, check this out. I don't know how long they're going to be on sale. But right now, they're $9.99. Different colors available. Check them out. My name is Carl. Oh, let's go over this one real quick. I found this one in my Dremel box the other day. This is a Husky carabiner knife. I probably had this in there for at least 10 years. Haven't used it very much, but it is pretty cool. Opens very easy. Very easy. Liner lock. I like the size of this thing. I'm going to add this to my miniature knife collection. You see I put my initials on the blade. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. It's already happened now. So. Got these two knives right here. Let's go like this with it. There we go. That's, that's better. I like these two things. If you see the Husky little miniature knife, Great thing to keep on your keychain, keep in your car, your toolbox, wherever. Check out the uh, Cabela's Bass Pro Shop ten dollar knife. Both of them are worth the money. My name is Carl, and I do appreciate you being here.